Where can the motor and power unit for your lift be located? Great question. Let's back up real quick and just make an understanding of how the lift operates because it'll make a lot more sense for you. So as you can see behind me, we have our motor or power unit in this back right corner. Directly off that motor and power unit, we're gonna have a hydraulic line that's gonna to connect to the hydraulic cylinder that is under that runway. That hydraulic cylinder is going to either extend or retract, pulling or lengthening those cables to raise or lower the lift. That is how a four post lift across the board in the market is going to operate. So the motor itself will always be located on that particular corner because that's where your hydraulic output line is. However, our lifts do come with casters and are movable or during the assembly of process, you can effectively build or move this lift after into 180 degree orientation. So that motor can effectively be on this corner as well. So driver's side front or passenger rear. As you can see, if I pull the car on this way, driver's side front, passenger rear. Those would be the locations that the motor can be mounted. Now the motor itself can be mounted in the orientation you see directly hanging off the back or 90 degrees outwards. So it does have two different positions on that singular post, whether you want it straight in line or if you want it shifted off to the side. But keep in mind, across the board with all four post lifts, the motor itself has to feed the hydraulic fluid to the piston, which is directly near that motor itself. So it'll always be on that corner, or if you shift the entire lift, that operational setup will be on this particular corner. It cannot, however, be located over on that corner or this because there's no hydraulic fluid input to the piston itself. 